If you've been playing Phantom Forces for a handful of years now, you'll more than likely remember a time where every single server was dominated by honey badgers. Between 2016 to 2018-ish, every server would have at least one guy just destroying everyone, and very quickly a vote kick pop-up would come up. Nowadays though, we have a lot more choices, like a lot more choices. So does this former beast hold up after all these years? Is it still worth using in 2022 and beyond? Well, let's find out. Oh yeah, and uh, don't forget, if you enjoy the video, please subscribe and like. It helps keep the channel boosted in the algorithm them and lets me keep making videos. Okay, uh, thanks, now for the rest of the video. So let's take a quick look at what I've got on here. So I've thrown on a couple of basic attachments that I've kind of deemed to be like decent optimal attachments for this because recoil is a lot heavier than it used to be seemingly. If you'll remember though, the old honey badger didn't allow you to have barrel attachments, so you only had a base presser. However, now that we have basically every option at our disposal, unfortunately the selling point of the honey badger being integrally suppressed is out the window now. So having thrown a couple of attachments on it now that are kind of like more modern day things that you'd expect to see in any normal lobby. Hello? Oh, can I get up here? Thank you. Hello, random little man. So if we just take a basic look here at what kind of recoil we're going to be talking about, it's honestly not as bad as I thought it was going to be going into this. Like, it's not amazing. I mean, I wasn't even that far away, and the spray pattern's not that good. But if I can demonstrate here, oh, oh, but if I can demonstrate here, you'll see that I can still manage to land a lot of my shots. And the main reason for that is the fact that the Honey Badger, while the shots kind of go a little bit everywhere, it has a fast enough fire rate and a tight enough grouping to be able to still get you some nice range kills. As far as damage wise, we're talking 33 maximum with a minimum of 22. Typically for the like assault rifle category and even the carbine category, you're talking a minimum of like 19 to 20. So having that extra couple of damage, while not a crazy amount, is definitely beneficial to being able to get more kills easier. 33 up close damage as well isn't that bad. That means at the very least you're going to be getting a four shot, but if somebody's even taken one damage, then it's a three shot point blank. Honestly, it's pretty typical in terms of just raw damage stats because of the fact that everything is, for the most part, in this category at the very least, is going to be a 3-5 to five shot. But bruh, I mean, there's just something so satisfying about specifically the Honey Badger, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, I thought that was a man using one real quick. Nah, bro's got the Scar L. He made a good choice. I mean, if we're, I'm going to guess. I have not looked yet. I'm going to guess 1.0 torso multiplier, 1.4 headshot multiplier. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very standard. Honestly, depending on the category, you can kind of tell what the multipliers are going to basically be. But I mean, it's still not bad. I mean, you're talking like a little bit over 46 damage or so with a headshot up close. That, that's pretty good. But to my brother in Christ, what if I want to snipe with the Honey Badger? Can I do it? Can it be done? Uh, maybe not. Ooh, there's a little man flying outside of the doorway there. You did not hear that voice crack. You did not. Pretty much for anything in the carbine category, close and medium range is going to be basically a no-brainer. So yeah, I mean, it's it's functional in that regard. I mean, I could probably, like, I I'm moving right now, and yeah, you can still get a kill. That's one of the many things that I like about the Honey Badgers. Even while you're moving, your recoil is still fairly stable. It's fairly consistent to what it is. Whereas with a lot of other guns, you're going to be getting a lot more weapon sway while moving. But again, I think that that all just kind of depends on what attachments you're using and everything. So it's kind of hard to, uh... Hmm, how do I say... Hmm. Hmm. Words. Words and thoughts. Yeah, I mean, we have 800 fire rate, it's close to 1,000 RPM on a miniature AR-15 M4-esque thing. It's, it's pretty good. I, honestly, I enjoy it. But what about the classic Honey Badger? Let's say we want to take a trip down memory lane and just have a base Honey Badger. As far as I know, the model hasn't been updated. It's still the same old model that it used to be. And recoil looks... Okay, I got a little bit scared there for a second. And honestly, I, I'm not I'm not too disimpressed. Is disimpressed a word? I, I, un, unimpressed, that's it. I'm honestly not unimpressed with this. Oh, like, yeah, I even from medium distances. Like, the recoil looks a little bit worse. But, like, running no attachments on this, that, like, look at that. That's It's perfectly fine. That is totally serviceable. Hello, bro on the roof. Can you come down just for a moment? He's dead. Ooh. Uh-oh. Did I lose connection? Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, last connection. I mean, what if we even get a little bit more classic? What if we use a Z-point on this? Anybody remember the Z-point? Good. Neither do I. But I mean, again, totally serviceable. Literally nothing wrong with this. I could, I, I could just I could keep getting kills. I could just keep getting kills. It doesn't matter. It's fine. This is, this is totally fine. For a gun that has vanished out of the meta and has been gone for many years, I'm honestly surprised that I don't see more of these. I am thoroughly impressed with the gameplay of this. No barrel attachment, no grip, perfectly fine. And honestly, a pretty satisfying suppressor sound at that. If I could just find somebody, let me just let me find somebody. Hello? Where where did everybody go? Yes, you there, the man who's hungry for lead. 
There we go. I mean, it just, it, it works. It's a really, really good carbine. And what is this unlocked at? Like level 35 or 36, something like that, man? I mean, all that performance for just like basically nothing. Uh, editor note, it's actually unlocked at rank 62. Uh, do with that what you will. I'm trying to not get too repetitive here because there's only so much that I can say about this, but I would definitely recommend this as an early game pre-buy, or if you're just somebody who's like a much higher rank and doesn't know what to use, or maybe just an older player who hasn't used this old beast in a while. I'd say it's totally worth picking back up again and giving it another try. abso freaking lootly Why is my phone spamming me? Are you alive again? <gasps> oh, I... Yeah, I just threw up a little bit in my mouth though. Nice.